And we'll start with Harrison Wind. Hey, Monte, going up against Portland, I mean, you guys faced them in 2019. They're a division opponent. How much familiarity do you think you guys have with them just from how often you've played them? I mean, they know us. We know them. You know, uh, we know their play calls to a T. I'm sure they know ours. So it's going to come down to certain possessions and 50 50 and hustle plays. Vinny Benedetto. Hey Monte, what's what's just the key for for Garden guys like Dame and CJ? I mean, they good players. You just gotta, you know, make it. Try to make it as uncomfortable as possible. Um, they're gonna make crazy shots. You know, tough shots. I'm sure they work on that. People think crazy, but you just gotta go with the game plan and uh, just try to make it as tough as possible on those guys. Wear them out on both ends and don't let them rest on the defensive end. Mike Singer. Hey, Monte, what did uh, preparation look like yesterday? And how was uh, – and what did you guys discuss at your team dinner? I mean, we just went over the keys and we were successful against them. And when we weren't successful and how they thrive and how they get points and just a recap on our season and, you know, where our goals are. So dinner was good. And, um, you know, yesterday was just a workout day. You know, today was all together practice. Katie Winsor. Hey, Tay, kind of a unique situation this year. Obviously, last year was in the bubble, but now you will be traveling to Portland. They'll be coming to Denver. How much do you think the fans will have an impact on these games, and especially because there'll be a different number of fans allowed in, in every arena in the NBA? Uh, I think I think the fans, uh, it'll be big. Um, the fans we already had in there made a difference. So I know I think we're increasing this some. So I think uh, the home court advantage would definitely be in our favor, you know, and, you know, our fans bring it to a different level in the playoffs, you know, as we've seen in 2019. So um, looking forward to it. Um, it should be a, a great environment to play some playoff basketball. Stay with Katie Wingy. And then, Tay, just for you personally, like, where are you hoping to improve most in this playoff run? And how's your health? Uh, my health line. Um, I'm fine. My hamstring is healed, you know, um, so I'm ready to go. Just just to prove, you know, just prove to everybody, you know, that, you know, our team is real, real good. And myself, you know, I didn't got better, you know, even missing, you know, significant games I missed. Um, I was having one of my best seasons. Uh, so I'm just ready to go out there and show people, you know, you know what I'm made of and play with that edge. Um, and just improve overall. You know, this is my third playoff. I know to it, I'll be way more comfortable than I was against Portland two years ago, you know, to, you know, seeing my improvement in the bubble. So, you know, this, I know what to expect. I know how to, how to attack it. And, you know, I expect the big playoffs for myself. Chris Marlowe. Hey, Monte, I was curious. Could, could you just walk us through very briefly what are the challenges of guarding Lillard as opposed to guarding McCollum? I'm assuming you're going to see some time on both, but what are the biggest challenges? Just compare those two. Well, uh, I mean, they're similar, but, you know, Dame's just shooting real deep. His range is a little better than CJ's, but CJ got a lot of um, deep range also. But, um, I think CJ more in between mid-range. Dame take less mid-range to get to the basket more, but – they're similar, but different in little ways. You just got to know, but it's a tough cover on both for both guys. You got to be locked in every possession, you know. They run, you know, mostly all the offense through both those guys. So if we're able to slow down one of them, I feel like we give ourselves a great chance um, through this seven-game series. Mike Singer. And Monte, what's the key to getting more consistency out of the bench, assuming that, uh, you know, you're running point for that second unit? Uh, I mean, simple. We just got to go out there and play with energy. Uh, you know, I have been out, so you know, I'm just now getting back in the floor of things with the second unit. But I feel like in the playoffs, we'll be just fine. Um, we got some good scoring in the second unit. Um, I don't think going forward it would be an issue. Um, take it on, on me to get guys in spots and, 
you know, score the ball. And also, you know, we got to defend at a high level. So looking forward to the challenge. Uh, yeah, I don't want I don't want this playoffs to be, uh, you know, second unit struggling or second unit didn't come with it. So can't let that happen. You know, it's do or die now. We just got to be focused and ready to go. To follow up on that, what are the challenges when you are so familiar with a team like you guys are with Portland? Say that again. To follow up on that, what are the challenges when you guys are so familiar with a team like Portland? Like, it's obviously going to be competitive and ugly, but like, how do you guys prevail when you guys are so familiar? Uh, just 50, it come down to the little things, the extra box outs, free throws, finishing layups, finishing fast breaks. You know, it's not going to be uh, the offense calling plays and things like that. It's going to be stuff that don't show up on the stat sheets that's going to win games, especially when you're familiar with, you know, team a team like this. We don't play this team plenty, plenty, plenty times. So um, it's just like, you know, kind of like you can win against your first team or second team in practice. They know what you're going to do. We know what they're going to do. So we just got to be ready to lock in and do the little things. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Monte.